happening, fellas? It's a lot darker. You can tell it's full up. It's like you're on Mars. I mean, the last time I've experienced a, a solar eclipse was it was the 79 eclipse when I was, I was probably like four years old at the time. I remember that. My dad said the first time he experienced a, a solar eclipse, he was in Vietnam. And he thought he thought Russia had just launched the bomb, dropped the bomb. Right? He thought it was over. He thought it was World War III. I mean, really, it's the new moon, if you don't know that. The new moon rises at sunrise, and it tracks across the sky all day long. And so what happens is, is that the sun is directly overhead and the moon are directly overhead perfectly and they're aligning perfectly and then you get the eclipse. There's just less light, period. The overhead bite is listed to be good today because, well, it's the new moon and the overhead bite is always good during the new moon. This is just sort of a special new moon. I'm not looking up. I mean, there's a temptation because you see it getting darker and it's a weird sort of ethereal sort of eerie kind of dark and you're the first temptation to look up but I got the big bill so I don't ever look up directly to it so how do you fish a solar eclipse just like you'd fish the new moon <laughs> because they're the same thing there's no difference now you're not gonna see the diminished light because the computer in the camera automatically changes the sensitivity of the apertures and all these kind of things and I, it's like wearing it's like you're wearing a pair of shades is what it looks like you know you put on a pair of shades and everything wow it's just it's, this is cool <laughs> wow it's just getting darker and darker <laughs> this is pretty cool see you're you you guys probably don't notice any difference it's not going to be a full eclipse here it's just going to be a partial eclipse you know if we we're in the carolinas or something we'd probably get a total eclipse but that's how it was back in 79. i wanted to get to my normal spot but i got a late start today had to get the motor all bolted back up and get everything all running and dad made one of those shoe box type things he took an old shoe box put a pinhead through it and me and the next door neighbor were just looking at it and we find it well instead of looking through the shoe box if you just let the sun shine down through the pinhole directly into the onto the ground, it, you could actually see the whole thing, just like it looks like, you know, on TV and stuff. I'm not sure where everybody says, oh, don't look at the sun. Well, you should never look at the sun. It's never a good idea. I mean, what are you, ta what are you saying? It's like, work just as good. <laughs> You got to set the drag. People don't believe it. You got to set the drag. You figure I'd learn and get me a, uh, there we go, right there, in the corner of the mouth. Got him. Oh, come on, buddy. Yeah, I gotta get these pliers. Salted bluegill. There we go. Ugh, slime. Catman hooks, man. We hung up on somebody's trot line. Dead gum it. If you like the video man if uh, if you like what i'm doing subscribe uh you can also watch a couple other videos i've got hovering around here somewhere and or if you want to support what i'm doing you can always go to my website amazon or ebay to get some of the black warrior lewis products that i sell and uh, that's it my friends i'll see you next time